Hi everyone, Baker on the dark side. I am trying an experiment today. Still trying to clean out my pantry. <laughs> so I had uh, some cashew butter and um, I know Valentine's Day is coming eventually, but I wanted to try an experiment for my daughter because uh, she really likes to have things that are desserts that have some health value. So I got a cup of cashew butter and I'm going to try to make like kind of a uh, cookie dough protein bark. This is, this is my idea. This is in my head. Okay. So I started with a cup of cashew butter. Now I'm going to add a cup of um, ratio protein vanilla yogurt. I love this yogurt. If you haven't seen it, by the way, it's really good. It's very thick. It's very creamy. Um, it has 25 grams of protein. Let's see, let me give you the stats. Um, eight carbs, doesn't have any fiber, one sugar alcohol, so seven net carbs, 25 grams of protein, 170 calories, uh, no added sugars, um, sodium 150, not terrible, not great. Uh, 15 milligrams of cholesterol, four grams of total fat, and two saturated fat. But it tastes fantastic. All the flavors, I've had them. Strawberry, vanilla. I mean, it really does feel like a dessert. Um, so if you haven't tried it, try it. There is a keto uh, version of it, too. It has a lot more fat, a lot more saturated fat. Look at the saturated fat. Um, then I'm going to do a quarter cup of cottage cheese to amp up the protein because cottage cheese has a ton of protein and this is a no salt cottage cheese two tablespoons of almond flour to kind of soak up some of that moisture one tablespoon of flaxseed i'm throwing it in she doesn't like nuts but that'll amp up some protein and give it some fiber and then we have um oops, not yet not those yet then we have um, my pralines and cream extract. I'm using it. It tastes like cake batter. So I did a half a teaspoon. And then, I don't know if you guys have tried this either, but um, Truvia Brown Sugar Baking Blend. Uh, this is really, um, it takes like 75% of the calories away. It's, it's zero calories. I mean, and it tastes really good. It works really well for baking. I'm just doing a third of a cup just to get that brown sugar flavor. Now, the reason why I'm using the cashew uh, butter, besides the fact that I'm trying to empty out my pantry, is that um, it won't have that peanut butter flavor, which I love peanut butter, but I'm trying to go for a cookie dough flavor. I'm leaving the um, mini chips out. So here we go, I'm gonna blend it. Scrape it once. So it's very smooth, very, very smooth. See that? Okay. So here's where the experimenting comes. So I'm, you know, guessing at the measurements of what I want it to taste like. So my next thing is to grab a spoon and just see if this tastes the way I want it to taste. Here goes nothing. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Mmm. So I gotta decide. It tastes, it's it's like, it is very good. I, I would say that it is like, it's gonna make a great bark. Yeah, I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna, I want it to be like a yogurt candy type bark. Um, if I wanted it to be more like cookie dough, I would add probably more almond flour uh, to it just to get it more of the cookie dough con consistency, but I want it to be a bark. So, um, yeah, I'm going to spread it out. I'm going to put it in the freezer. Definitely add more almond flour if I was going to um, make this into a cookie dough. So, um, I am at this point now going to fold in two tablespoons of mini chocolate chips and then I'm going to let it freeze. And then I'm going to coat it with um, this Lily's uh, dark chocolate bar that I found in my pantry. So uh, I'll see you when I'm ready to decorate.
All right, so I got this yogurt protein bark thing going on. <laughs> and I'm taking it out of the food processor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold in these two tablespoons of chocolate chips, these mini chocolate chips. You gotta have some chocolate chips, right? In your cookie dough bark. <laughs> so now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do it on the tray. I've got a sill pat so that it'll be easy to take it out, hopefully. I decided to go with the bark, I'm doing it. Okay. And um, I'm just gonna try to spread this pretty thin. I mean, this looks, this is amazing. That's all I can say. The taste came out way better than I thought it was going to. You can't even really taste the flax seeds. I think if I do this again for Valentine's Day, I will make it heart shaped. Okay, so I just want to make it as thin as possible all the way around. Me and my spatula. There it is. The cookie dough yogurt bark. I'm going to put this in the freezer, let it set. Um, it'll probably take somewhere between mm, maybe two to four hours. You really want to get it so you can break it apart. And then I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to take this lilies uh, with a little bit of coconut cream and I'm going to melt it down and then drizzle it over the top. But I'm going to wait to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna make a topping for my cookie dough protein bark that I made. Um, I took one tablespoon of coconut cream and I melted it down. And then I have this, um, I found in my pantry, uh, this Lily's Original Dark Chocolate. Uh, it is uh, sweetened with stevia, 55% uh, cocoa, no added sugar. Um, Lily's is a, you know, it's a really nice company. I really like them. And the bar, you know, it's really big. It's got their name on it. It's pretty cool. So I'm just going to break it up into these little cubes that they already have delineated for me. That's a word. Is that a word? Okay. And then I will reheat it again just a little bit to get this so it's drizzable. Drizzable. I'm making up words as we go. Okay, so I did melt it down and it's a little bit, a little bit too hot. So when you make your little ganache or your chocolate, it's a little hot, add a little heavy cream to it and it will bring it back. If you ever see it's a little curdled or a little too hot, it brings it back and it kind of like tempers it a little bit and it brings back the shine and takes away the grittiness. So I added that, it's looking a little better. And there we are. Okay, we're working with the sugar-free chocolate, so it's not going to be as smooth as regular chocolate. But there we are. There's our consistency. So I'm basically trying to do like a little painting thing. So I'm just kind of like doing my Picasso. Here we go. You guys can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> so kind of doing a Picasso thing. And um, just... Throwing it wherever. You could put it like smoothly on there if you want, but eh, I like the art. It makes me feel good. All right. Like I said, this is a little thicker, so it's not as a ganache would be because of the type of chocolate we're using. But see, there we go. You're looking at that. I mean, this is looking, it's looking pretty dang good, if you ask me. I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> and I don't have to feel super guilty about it. There is some good factors to it. So here we go. My skills. My decorating skills. All right. I don't want to miss any chocolate. I mean, that's half the fun, right? All right. You can use any kind of chocolate you want. I'm using the dark. All right, there it is. Just gotta freeze it for a few more hours and then it'll break into bark. Thanks for watching.